welcome back to my new video this video um we are going to be um working with pine cone okay so i'm going to create a file for pine cone demo okay so what we are going to do here is uh, we're going to import pine cone and then um I think I'm going to extract the API key. Um, so once you create an account and you come to the dashboard, you see your environment variable, um, the API key and all that. So I'm going to copy this and then um, I'm going to say API key is equal to this. And then the environment, environment is equal to this Asia Southeast. I'm going to copy that. Now, the next thing is I'm going to initialize pinecone. I'm going to say pinecone dot in it and pass in the api key as well as the environment okay so that is that so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to print pine cone list of indexes um list indexes once this is going to list indexes, so I'm going to run this. So as you can see, return an empty list, meaning that we don't have any indexes available. You can create indexes from the dashboard, but we are going to use the code to to create an index so the next thing we're going to do is to create an index i'm going to say print pine cone dot create index and this is going to take the the name the index name, the dimension, the metric, the default is cosine, replicates with the default of one, one shots, one port, one, and all of that. So we are going to pass in open AI as the name of the index. And then let's say we are going to create um, an embedding with length, um, or dimension eight. Okay. So we'll pass that in. And then the metric, maybe we want to use Euclidean, Euclidean distance. So I'm going to run this. See the list of indices is returned. It used to be empty. So we wait for it. So if I refresh indexes, if I refresh it, You can see that it's initializing and um, you can see the metric is Euclidean and it has a dimension of eight. Okay. So with all this one total port is one replica, one ports per replica, also one. See now it's ready for us to use. Um, so if I comment out create index and then i run this 
as you can see now we have um open ai as one of the index okay so that is that so the next thing i'm going to do is that we are going to connect connect to index and the way you connect to the index is you say index is equal to pine cone dot index and then you pass in the name of the index which is open open ai okay yeah. so we've connected to to the index now we want to upset data into pine cone okay i have um one that i've created so i'm just going to paste that in and then i talk about it so um as you can see we use the index object and then call the upset function and then um we pass in we pass in the the data we want to pass okay so as you can see the offset is taking a list and within the list we have two poles bunch of two poles we have four of them is it four five of them a b c d e e and then these are the vector embeddings we want to store in our pine cone uh database okay and these are the ids okay the corresponding ids okay so you can use these ids to fetch any of these um vectors okay embed embedded vectors okay so i'm going to run this code okay so it's done running once it's done i'm going to comment out the upset then the next thing i want to do is i want to print print some statistics about our index called open ai okay so i'm going to just print and say index dot describe index stat and it's a a function which takes no you can describe it by filtering some things out with key, some key and value but we don't want to do that okay we want to pick all the statistics okay so i'm going to run this You can see the statistics is say what the dimension is eight, index fullness zero, the namespace is empty, and then the vector count is five, and then the total vector count is five. So if we go to our dashboard and then I refresh the page, you can see index info. Once I click on it, you see that we have total vectors is five and then um, number of vectors is five and it's a vector without namespace because we did not assign a namespace to this uh, index so it's it's actually empty okay so let's do other operations um the next thing i want to do is i want to query query index so we're going to say print index dot query the query function and this is going to take um, a bunch of parameters so as you can see if you want to query the the index you have to pass in a list of vectors and then some ids 
and then some queries, top key, namespace, filter, include values, and then include metadata. So what we are going to do is we are going to say include metadata is equal to true include include values is equal to true and then we want to pass the vector in so we're going to say vector a vector that is very similar is going to be a list so a vector that is very close to any of this. So I'm just going to copy this. The C. So I'm going to paste that. So we are querying for this vector from our index. Okay. So it's going to fetch um, the closest using the cosine. Uh, we're going to use the Euclidean formula. Okay. To fetch all the vectors in our index that is very close to um, this one. Okay, so, and we want to return the top key, the top three um, ve uh, vectors that are close to, to this one. Okay, that's what it means by top three or top key. Okay, so, I think that is all for um, querying our index. So let me just run this and see what we get. So as you can see, it actually fetch C, D, and B, okay? And then the score is what, zero. For D, the score is 0 0.8. And then for B is 0 0.08. And then all the vectors that are close enough to 0 0.3, 0 0.3 is 0 0.2. 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 itself. So this is how, if you query your index, these are the things that you see based on the, the distance metric that we are using. So the distance between 0.3 and 0.4 is this. And then the distance between 0.3 and 0.2 is, is, this, is this score over here. Okay, so um, if we are done, we can actually delete the index. So I'm going to do that and then end this video and then we continue with the next video where we're gonna uh, do other fun stuff by using the fetch, create a collection and all that, list a collection and all that. So uh, once I'm done, I'm just gonna say, index.delete delete index and then I'm going to pass in open AI which is the name of our index so I'm just going to run this um I think it's rather pine cone sorry Pine cone. I'm going to stop this. Let me rerun it.
Okay. 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 